Hi, I'm Jenny, and I'm here with Frank Lucarelli from First American Title, and we're here with another episode of What's Happening, and we're talking a little bit about the title business. So welcome, Frank. Thank you, Jenny. Thanks for having me on. Oh, sure thing. So we wanted to talk a little bit today about um, you guys is your service area and that you've got a new office, new location in Lambertville. So why don't you tell us a little bit about that first? Okay. Well, uh, First American Services, uh, most of Michigan. Um, I mainly focus on Monroe, uh, Wayne, Washtenaw, and Lenawee counties. Uh, those are my four main counties. Uh, yes, we are moving into our new location. Uh, we have the keys and we will be up and running in there shortly. Uh, we moved into the office coffee house on uh, Somerville, uh, Summerfield in Lambertville. And uh, so we will be able to start doing closings there this week, actually. Well, that's a hot happening place. I know <laughs> I stop in there and there's coffee and people in there all the time except for the last month or two. <laughs> right, except for the last month or two. Before that, it was like a real estate hub. I can walk in there at any time and there was some sort of the real estate business in that uh, building. Absolutely, well, I'm excited about that new location. I know I will be there very often uh, working with you on that, so. I appreciate it, thank you. Sure, so why don't you tell us a little bit about, you know, I get questions all the time from buyers and sellers of why do I have to pay title insurance? It's a big part of my closing costs. Why do they need that and why is it important? Okay, um, so why is it important? Well, for one, um, just to discuss a little bit about what we actually do. So what we do as a title insurance company basically is uh, gather information and minimize risk. So we are basically minimizing the risk of a new home buyer. Um, stating that they have clear title to their property. And then we are an insurance company, so we insure that. And we insure that based on the sale price or the loan amount. Uh, and basically it just gives peace of mind. Uh, when something does go wrong, it can be something major that, that could cost you know, tens of thousands of dollars. And uh, we don't pay out very many claims, but you know, sometimes when we do, those could be expensive. Uh, it just gives the buyer peace of mind that they receive their property free and clear of any liens. Uh, and also on the other point is uh, a mortgage company, if the buyer is getting a loan, uh, they will require title insurance. They just want to make sure that they are in what we call first lien position. Uh, they want to make sure there's no other loans on the day that there are any liens, the day that their buyer is uh, taking out a new mortgage. Well, I think there's nothing more scary than if you're buying a piece of property and find out a few years down the road that you don't own the rights to it or there's liens on it. I mean, to I mean, I've been through transactions where there's been splits on land and that they thought they were buying all the land and they only own part of the land and things like that right. too. So, you know, it's very important, you know, if you've got an experienced real estate agent, they're gonna help you guide you through this process. But I think for those that are out there considering doing a first sale by owner or a family to family transaction, that type of thing, definitely talk to First American Title about this and make sure that your investment is protected and you know what you completely own and that you're insured. Right, correct, that's the best way to say it. Uh, we do find things, uh, you know, you'll see people that have lived in the house their whole life, but they don't really own it. Their grandparents owned it or their parents owned it and they're not entitled or there may be other heirs that have interest in the property and you don't want those people coming back in 10 years saying, hey, you know, I have an interest on that property still. So that's some, sure. some that we protect. So I know another thing that comes up quite often, and we've talked more and more about it, actually we hear more and more about it, is uh, wire fraud. You know, So you know, when you're going through a transaction and you're seeing these emails to wire funds and stuff, what are things to look out for? Because I think that's becoming more and more pre prevalent nowadays. Right, so what we see most of the time is, is that um, they call it like spoofing emails. They send you an email, um, uh, they may hack, you know, a real estate agent, a loan officer, or maybe even a buyer or seller, someone's email will get hacked with some type of uh, spyware. Uh, the hackers will see, you know, that they have a real estate transaction going on and they'll create a, you know, fake email address, maybe using my name or the lender's name and make it look like it's coming from the title company or the mortgage company. And then uh, it's just different ways of getting you to give them personal information. Uh, so what I say is any type of personal information, wire instructions, anything that has a social security number on it, uh, that all needs to be sent secure, either uh, through secure email or we have a secure portal that they can use where it can just be uploaded right into the portal. Uh, those kind of things should not be just regular emailed over 
unsecured networks because that's what hackers are looking for. They're looking for your social security numbers, your driver's license information. Uh, when it comes to mortgage documents and they have your loan application that has all of your personal information on it. So never ever send any of your information to your lender, to your realtor, to your title company, unless you send it secure. And I think as you were talking here, you say you're, you guys are seeing a large spike in this happening in Monroe County. Right. We, we're seeing it all over the United States, and we never used to see very much of it in Monroe County, but we were made aware of a few instances in the last oh, four or five months with a few different real estate agents and a few different loan officers. Uh, so it wasn't any, we couldn't pinpoint where it was coming from, but there was some fraud going on where they were trying to uh, gain wire instructions. Well, I think that's a good thing to note and buyer beware. Don't just uh, mindlessly, no, not necessarily mindlessly, but just don't go out and wire your money out there without verifying all your information and everything. So, um, so one more quick question for you, Frank, before we close this up. Um, charities, I know you're getting involved in some of the charities. What is the charity near and dear to your heart and what are your involvement in that? Uh, well, when I first started um, in my career about 18 years ago, um, I was introduced to Habitat for Humanity in Monroe County and uh, they were that was the first one that I ever got involved in. Uh, uh, I really like what they do. I like how, you know, it's home related and I'm in the real estate industry. Uh, so I've been working with them for basically the past, you know, 17, 18 years. Uh, I know that we work together and that hopefully we'll be uh, working on a home together this summer. And uh, they're just, I don't know, uh, they're just a little near and dear to my heart because uh, that was like the first charity I ever worked with. Well, yeah, I agree. You and I have worked on the last couple of years on some builds. Um, hopefully, we'll be able to kick one off this year. I know we had one scheduled for June, but we might end up having to push that out a little bit. But I mean, I think they're a great organization to get involved in. I mean, it really ties with, you know, home buyers and getting them into homes. Um, so if you don't know much about Habitat, I would definitely um, check out their organization. And it's who they can help. They help more people than you would think out there. So. Correct. And one other thing about Habitat for any uh, homeowners, home buyers, is that they can always uh, look into the ReStore about if they ever need paint or any home supplies or things like that. You can get some discounted uh, supplies from the Habitat ReStore as well. Oh, that's a good point. I go over there every once in a while and check it out. So, yeah. Okay. Well, Frank, I appreciate you joining us. It's been very insightful. So we will be sure to um, kind of get this out there to everybody. And if anyone has questions on title insurance or what to do, um, give Frank a call and he'll be glad to help you. Well, thank you very much. Thanks for having me on.